ASHG envisions a world in which people everywhere realize the benefits of genetics and genomics research, and diversity, equity, and inclusion is imperative to that mission. DEI Task Force Chair Athena Starlard Davenport is here in studio now with more on the action plan to make that goal a reality. Pleasure to have you with us today. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. All right. This current plan that we're discussing was actually created back in 2021 yes. with initiatives that impact not only ASHG but also research development. What have we already accomplished on that action plan? So, no, that's a great question. So over the past uh, five years, uh, the society has championed diversity and equity and inclusion in genetics and genomics research and in the workforce. And some of the initiatives that we have accomplished include the Facing Our History, Building an Equitable Future initiative, as well as the Human Genetics and Genomics Workforce Report and the Human Genetics Scholars Initiative, which I'm proud to say I was a part of the very first cohort. And it's a great opportunity for underrepresented groups groups uh, to participate in and get engaged in uh, research and in the workforce and to develop the pipeline for researchers, underrepresented groups in genetics and genomics research. So you've already accomplished a lot in a short amount of time. Where are your efforts now? What are we focusing on today? So our efforts still remain the same, but we want to emphasize those same action plans and strategic areas that we previously talked about. Mm -hmm. um, uh, so some of those things include acknowledging the history of indiscretions and in injustices in genetics and genomics research, um, particularly as it relates to eugenics and racism and other type of injustices. We also want to emphasize the pipeline or increasing engagement of underrepresented groups defined by the NI National Institute of Health as being underrepresented in genetics and genomics research so we can create a pipeline for them in the workforce. We also want to engage and increase uh, research participation among underrepresented groups in those areas as well. So, so those are some of the things and we just want to emphasize that and make that a high priority. You've mentioned it a couple of times but you know making sure that every group is represented yes. when it it comes to genetic research is so important, it's Absolutely. paramount. How are we doing when it comes to making sure that those underrepresented groups are represented when it comes to research and what are some of the specific efforts to still you know kind of make that a priority we are continuing the efforts like I mentioned the human genetic scholars initiative which targets underrepresented groups to participate in genetics and genomics research and give them visibility like here at the annual meeting there's different um, opportunities and uh, things that are going on um, at the meeting, including like a d diversity, equity, and inclusion luncheon and reception and a human genetics scholars. But we're also trying to implement possibly a to advance mentorship, like a legacy, uh, it's called our Legacy uh, Scholars Program to provide mentorship among established PIs to give underrepresented groups more uh, mentorship in those areas and we also want to provide potential uh, strategies for increasing minorities to the annual meeting by providing possibly minority travel awards uh, oh. at travel awards uh, to minorities that go to or underrepresented groups that are at uh, historically back colleges and universities. Well you're doing a wonderful job. Congratulations on all the progress that you made and we look forward to more success in the future. Thank you so much. Thank you.